so we're going to remove the radio now so I can get the back of it and uh, wire the patch cables here, aka RCAs. First, we remove the where did I put it? Okay. passenger airbag cap. It's going to be connected here. There's two torque screws right up here, and that's where they went. And then the second, this trim piece is going to come off, and then this will come out. That way, we'll be able to pull the radio out. For what I'm doing, I didn't really need to take out the uh, <clears throat> lower center console. I just pulled the radio back and then it'll access everything. What I'm going to do next is get the GPS antenna mounted. Uh, they just had it kind of stuffed over in here for some reason. And then we're going to mount the microphone for this uh, Android unit. I'm going to pop it over there. I was going to mount it up here, but the thing is, this didn't or doesn't have a clip. That I can see. I'll have to look at it more. Maybe it pops out. But it does have a sticky back, and I don't know how well it'd go right there. And it also, it would kind of look ugly. So it looked more out of the way if it was um, up here. And I can just have it like that. So we'll keep moving on. One interesting thing I found was that this unit only has uh, one sub out, which I've never seen personally. But it's not a big deal because it's mono block amp. So it'll it'll keep trucking. What else is back here? Lots of lots of inputs from this guy. But I don't see I see a break for a blue wire, then I see antenna. This is a mistake that some people make when they install an amplifier, they'll wire it to the blue wire, which is what you want to do normally, but this says antenna, which means it will only come on when you turn on the radio, like the FM AM radio, because it's gonna send a signal out to tell a what a you know a powered retractable antenna to retract or extend. So I'm worried that this is probably that. And another odd thing I found somewhere else here: antenna control. So I don't know really which what is what. Uh, looking at this, let's see here. Do, 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 do. So 11 is antenna control, and yeah, I just don't. I'm not gonna screw with this. So the amp I've got for this car, though, it will um, just sense a signal and turn on. So we'll, we won't screw with that. Microphone wired in, and I don't know if you see it, it's kind of dark, but it's stuck. This was pretty tricky. You can just uh, lightly pull on this, and there is a clip right in here, in about the middle, that's clipped in. Now, you need to be really, really, really careful about this, because you see that white thing running up the pillar here? That is an airbag. You don't want to set that off. It will definitely break your hand and your face if it's in the way. So, be careful with that. Gently run the wire with a lot of slack up the A-pillar. That way, if it does go off in the event that it's needed to, it won't be constricted by the the wire. Chances are the bag will actually break the uh, the wire for the antenna anyway, or the microphone anyway, and uh, it'll be fine. But it's always just a good idea. Just you know, be careful and prepare for it. This didn't do me any dang favors. It was really tough getting this wired up in here. So I got it up here and I went up and around back here. Some fingers wiggling and threw up and over here this metal uh, bracket. So it's tucked back there. So I'll get it all buttoned up and that'll be it for this part. I've taken the GPS antenna, um, temporarily removed the, the gauges here, this gauge and whatever, and set it all the way back there and snugged it securely between the dash and this plastic uh, panel. I'll zoom in. This right here. So it's not like stuck down, but it's not going anywhere. And the dash is, is thin enough that for the antenna will be fine. This is what I've been doing for years and years and years and oh, 50 plus navigation installs and this always works out. So it'll be good. And that is it for the radio, I believe. I don't have to mess with anything else. Oh no, I gotta do a, um, I gotta rewire this because this was also shoved down, down here. This oversized speaker is door chime. So a lot of factory radios tie their door chimes in with the, the head unit and this is no exception. 
so this aftermarket Android unit came with uh, a door chime so we're gonna try to get up there in the belly pan be advised this belly pan actually has a, an airbag in it so don't go tugging at this door right here trying to pull it out and and uh, disassembling it because you you know there's, there's an airbag behind it so don't you know be careful with it don't mess around uh, I'm gonna try to go up under and go way back there with this door chime so that will be it with this dash, and I can continue on routing the wires to the, the back of the car and bolting in the amp. This side panel here came out pretty easy. Uh, actually, it's the first car I ever met that where this is just one little piece and doesn't interfere with anything else because I've seen a lot of times you gotta remove the, the top panel here first, and this, then you gotta go with the seat belt and all this stuff. But this is actually nice. It's just one little one little sail panel here. So. You got clip here, clip there, clip there, clip there, and a yellow clip here. This is all speed clips. And of course, use your pry tool. It'll make real quick work of this. Now, moving on. Once you pull the, the rubber trim off, and I like to just kind of temporarily throw on the roof. Uh, this panel right here, it goes right here. There is a speed clip that goes in right here. So take your pry tool, pop it out, and it'll, it'll come out two yellow speed clips down on the bottom right there and then it um, I don't know if you can see that yeah okay so then it just hooks in right there and it'll come right on out so same deal with this one it's all speed clips and uh, you can kind of see them right here and there's one looks like right there and one uh, I get to probably have to pull the seat down Okay, this panel right here uh, was pretty damn tricky. So you've got a speed clip right there in the back, and then what you gotta do, then what you gotta do is take the chair here, the seat, and pull it up. So you just get your hand down there real good, and just give it a yank, and it comes right on up. And you'll find another speed clip living right there. Once again, pry tool and a scribe is your best dang friend. So now we get to run the wire here and then uh, start fabricating the uh, mount for the Quick update, I almost forgot. So the amp comes with a volume knob. Uh, I pop some screws in here and here and then drill a hole right there to uh, let the cord plug into it and then ran along with uh, the power and, and the um, RCA cable. Sorry, I got some heartburn. Anyway. So you see that I'm running the power with the RCA cables and normally that's a big no-no, but we're not really running incredible amounts of power here for it to jump. And uh, they're pretty insulated. Um, but when you're doing this stuff, so make sure that when you do run these together, make sure they're not pinched together hard anywhere. You want this, especially the RCA cables to really loosely sit as you run them along the car. So right now we got RCA power and remote and I'm about to well, remote for the remote um, gain for the amp not remote wire uh, and then I gotta pop in the ground real quick so I'm gonna see if I can tap it right here which would be really nice and make my life a lot easier but I gotta go into the car real quick and check make sure the gas tank's not there or something because that's a, a very common mistake people will start popping screws in the floor and not realize what they're actually drilling through on the other side okay we're wrapping up the uh, install here I didn't really film too much because there wasn't too much going on. I ended up having to install the remote wire and tap it off the factory uh, cable, but I didn't actually cut the harness. I just the uh, I just tapped it from the radio. So all this is back in. Um, running the car right now to try to build its battery power back up. So one thing I've run into is this guy right here. It's not going to properly fit now with the the subwoofer in. So I'm wondering if it's uh, a factory piece that needs to be ordered. If not, I'm just gonna simply cut it down here and it'll fit fine. I'm just gonna leave it out for now and see what they say when they get here and see the car. So the amp fit just barely into this location here. I ended up having to take my Dremel and just very subtly shaving down some of the foam here so the amp will go nice and snug. Uh, I don't um, think it's gonna overheat or anything because the heat dissipates from the top but also 
this is not going to be, you know, going balls to the wall all the time. It's just powering a small factory DVC Sony sub, which is not impressive at all. Um, definitely going to get some hardware for it because it uh, rattles. So once it's like properly bolted down secure, it'll sound a lot better because when I was holding it, it sounded really good. Uh, the wires under here, uh, power, ground, remote, speakers, and RCA and the uh, base remote, they're all wired under the amp itself. There's actually a space and a channel under there with this actual metal bracket too that uh, acts as support for the foam so it doesn't pinch any, any wires. So that worked out pretty good. Uh, all in all, I think uh, this is a pretty nice clean OEM slash aftermarket integration. Uh, I will say this car was a pain in the ass to do. This is not a fun job. Everything about it just threw softballs at me and hardballs and curveballs and whatever whatever kind of balls you want to like. Uh, uh, even got got me a boo boo, which happens once in a while. But I, I I nailed the top of it pretty good. I'm trying to pop this panel on back here, but it, it's it's on there now. So yeah, uh, the sub. Well, the sub just, it doesn't really sound that good. It, it just can't really uh, pump any good air because of its small box size. I've read online, some guys are dropping specific aftermarket eight inch subs and uh, we're having really, really good luck with them. So I'll look into that. I think right now what I got to do is, uh, yeah, I got to put in the polyfill uh, on this sub. I may or may not do it tonight. I'll, I can make them do it maybe it's it's really not a hard task it's just those uh torque screws all around and the sub pops out and stuff it full poly uh, so that'll be it so all right i'm gonna button this up and uh call it a day